<clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and get started on the income statement. So we're going to start on the income portion of the income statement. Okay. Anybody have any ideas what should be included there? Don't everybody volunteer at once. Uh, the produce auction. Yeah. And the farm market. Yeah. Anything else? Yep. So these are the three items that on the income statement would be included in income. <laughs> so I'll leave that for a second. What about expenses? Advertising. Yep. Chemicals. Yep. Anybody else? Fuel, fertilizer. Mm -hmm. So these are all the numbers. I thought utilities were fixed. No. They are, but I have all expenses together. Oh. Variable. Yeah. Oh, sorry. But it, it is a good thing as you're going through to, to be able to differentiate between um, your fixed and so variable. All right, give me one second. Just a reminder, can, so they can't hear yeah. people here, they can only hear you. But they said they can't hear me either. They're having trouble oh. hearing me. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Chris? What's going on? It popped up and her. said they can't hear me. It's coming up on the camera. come up louder, they said. That's as loud as your mic gets. All right, I will try to talk louder. So, um, what do you guys think are some of the variable expenses? Advertising, chemicals, fertilizer. Mm -hmm. What would be some of your fixed ones? I, I was just real. <laughs> so, um, it was just stated uh, variable ones would be your advertising, chemical, fertilizer. So, some of our fixed. Okay. So, advertising, as we said, would be variable. Chemicals, variable. Fertilizer, variable. We're hearing you try moving closer to your microphone or turn. See it? Uh, so, ignore that? Okay. Um, interest would be fixed. Your trucking is going to be variable. That's kind of your hauling to your delivery location. Um, fuel, variable. Your labor is, um, in general, going to be variable, but it may be. Could you swap the mic to the other side? Which would be better. Okay. Can you just hold it? Like uh, I'll it? hold it. <laughs> um, your labor could be fixed with your office staff, um, people that are there, no matter how much product you're making. Uh, seeds and plants and supplies are all going to be variable. Your utilities are going to be um, variable if you have like a greenhouse operation or things where your input costs would change. Um, your insurance repairs are going to be fixed. Sorry, I can't see. Repairs are fixed? Um, in general, yes, because if your tractor breaks, you're going to have to fix it. So no matter what, if you had grow 80 crops, um, some of your costs may fluctuate a little in your repairs, but it, it's typically going to be a fix. Yeah. Um, and you said utilities would be variable or fixed? Variable. Um, insurance is fixed. Rent is fixed. Um, a quick question that came up during the break is the difference between accounts payable and accounts receivable. So accounts receivable is money that is owed to you. Accounts payable is money that you owe to somebody else. It's your fertilizer, your chemical, uh, fuel. So 
So now we're going to move to the balance sheet. So we're going to start with the assets. I'm going to uh, get feedback from the class here. What do we think are the assets? Let's start with current assets. For assets? You have to repeat everything they say. So um, for assets, what we're looking for is things that they own. Oh, yeah. Yep. Money. So, so cash. cash. Yeah. Checking and savings, accounts receivable, inventory supplies, and prepaid expenses. Yep, that's your, your current assets. Your intermediate is the equipment, 75000 That's and your long-term is land to rent. I have to repeat everything back, so well, there you go. Um, so intermediate assets, um, as stated, is the machinery equipment, and the long-term asset is land. So you'll see it's all filled in there. So you'll see that the um, assets are just all those numbers added together. What about liabilities? Counts payable? Yep. And where does that go? Counts payable is current. And OLC, that's the um, operating room, 30000 Yep. So uh, also in current liabilities is the operating loan. What about intermediate? The John Deere and International loan, that's 51,100. Yeah. So the John Deere and International are intermediate and any long-term loan? Loan credit. Yep. So you'll see it, it was filled in here. Um, the numbers at the bottom, which are a little hard to see behind the icons, but the net worth is the total assets subtracted out the total liabilities. So uh, she, Farmer Jane is in pretty good shape, as well as her working capital is at 67000 So as you can see here, it's not all cash that's into that working capital. There's other things that go into it. So the question, the question was asked the difference between the long-term uh, liability versus the current liability, um, and the difference is when it's due back. So the long-term loan is going to be due past the five-year mark. The intermediates are your five- and seven-year, typically your machinery equipment type of loans, and then your short-term money is money due back within one year. I can't put it any closer. <laughs> so uh, that's the difference between all of those. Um, and that's where the working capital um, number down at the bottom is important because if you don't have enough current assets, you're not going to be able to repay that loan when it comes due within a year. That loan's going to be your operating loan that funds your uh, seed, fertilizer, and so forth. The working capital is like your reserves that you have for emergencies, that type of thing? Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be reserves, but yeah. So what it is is really in the next 12 months, are you going to be able to convert things such as um, inventory and supplies to cash to be able to cover your short-term debts which are due within the year. So the interesting thing about the balance sheet is it's a snapshot in time. So it's that one day that's where you're sitting. And that's kind of why we talked about doing it monthly because at the end of the year this is going to look a lot different than maybe in the middle of the year. It's going to look great in the middle of the year. You're going to have tons of crops in the field and tons of inventory and supplies, but if it doesn't get realized by the end of the year through your income statement and so forth, 
then you're going to get to where you can't cover those short-term liabilities. Thanks. You're welcome. Yep. So a farmer can actually value the, the crops in the field and say, well, this will eventually be worth $3 a pound? So typically, the, so the question was, can a, a farmer value the crop in the field? Typically what we uh, do when we're valuing is not what you'll sell it for, but what you have your cost in. So your input cost is what the value of the crop is going to be. Um, we also have some instances where they generate their uh, bills. So they send out the bills for their clients um, to make sure that you're collecting the money that's owed to you. <laughs> But they kind of fill in that, um, I think the key part for the record keeping is really for the operations that aren't big enough for office staff, but you're probably a little too busy to be able to do it yourself. Okay. I think the last one is um, one is how do you calculate the value of the um, So. In the example that we did, so I'm reading the last question here, which was the term of the loans was not noted. How do you calculate the value of the intermediate loans? Um, so because we did 0% and it was just to keep it easy, interest, um, all of the portion was left as, um, give me one second to go back. They're not going to let me go page. I think just let me double check. So here you can see um, we didn't pull any up to the current liabilities. Um, but if there were, we have done it in the past and we just found that it ends up with fumbles through the, the program. So that's why it's at 0% and nothing moved up to current liabilities. But typically we would move um, a year's worth of payments from the intermediate loan up to current liabilities. It just gets a little more complicated. Same for long term, right? What's that? Same for long term. Yep, same for long term. Any other questions? Thank you very much.